Hey, good evening. Thank you all for joining us. I ask that you please leave your lines mute until called upon to ask a question. If you'd like to ask a question, please use the raise hand function through Zoom. We will open up first with a statement from Coach Shaw. Thank you. Better fight from our guys this week. Um, we're not just looking for better. Uh, we're, we're trying to win. Um, yes, we had some tough situations with a couple of guys not being able to go. Hoping EJ Smith could go, couldn't go. Hoping Tanner could go, he couldn't go. Um, but, you know, that's that's what it is. And our guys come back and we fought hard. Uh, missed too many tackles on the defensive side. I thought we played much better on the defensive side, but you miss tackles against good backs and they're going to rack up yards on you. And that's exactly what happened. Um, you know, we didn't see a lot of those big holes where guys were running through them. You know, we had guys in there to make plays and they didn't get them down on the ground often enough. Offensively, they put together, a, a, a thought, a really good game plan um, for Ari and, and a little bit with Isaiah. Um, you know, I thought Ari went out there and missed a couple, as, a, as you would expect a true freshman to miss. And they came out there and we had a couple of drops. And what we talked about during the week is we can't put the pressure on the, on the freshman. You know, the pressure not on the freshman, the pressure is on everybody else. Um, so we got to make those plays when he gives us those opportunities. Um, Ari was just coming along, made a couple of nice runs. Um, you know, got banged up on, on that last run and then came in and threw a touchdown pass. Uh, and then we, we lost him for the rest of the game. Um, Isaiah Sanders, you know, you see what kind of an athlete he is. Big, strong, fast, breaks tackles. Uh, had to put him out there um, and, and he did some really nice things. Uh, Dylan Plouts came in, uh, kind of played his role. You know, we had some plays that we know Dylan likes. He went out there and executed to a decent, de decent degree. Missed his first couple of throws and then he settled in. Um, but all I know is, is we can play much better. I don't care who's hurt, who's not hurt, who's up, who's down. Um, we're going out to try to win these football games. And now uh, our, our focus shifts to, to the big game. You know, the ax is on the line. Um, you know, Cal uh, didn't play this past week. They got some guys out with COVID. Hopefully they get enough guys back. Hopefully we get some guys back uh, off injury and go out there and play one hell of a game next weekend. Okay, when I open up for questions, if you'd like to ask a question, please use the raise hand function. We will start off with Troy Clarity. Hey, Coach, can you take us inside some of the variables that went into putting plots in at that particular situation coming off of the uh, of the fourth down stop and coming coming on and, and make, making it a or close to making it a, a one score game? Uh, so you're talking about the decision to play Dylan? Is that, is that your question? Or at least have him in that particular position after the touchdown, twenty-one-seven, and the and the ball inside the Oregon State territory. Yeah, uh, those are all tough calls. Every call is a tough call, and uh, when they work, they work great. Uh, when they don't, they don't. Um, the big issue is we came out there and we got a penalty on the first play, so we got back to first and fifteen. Um, so one of the biggest indicators of all of, of not getting a first down is an offensive penalty. So you get one on first and 15. Now, now you're behind this. Now you're behind the sticks. You're on their fourth quarterback. Uh, becomes difficult uh, to come back and get a first down. Um, Try to throw a screen. Uh, got nothing there. Uh, so it became became really difficult. Um, so they're all tough calls. You know, Dylan kind of settled down and made some really nice throws. Big throw down the middle to, to Ben Urosik was it was big time throw. Um, just came out at uh, the beginning didn't and missed those first couple. Uh, you know, I thought, I thought we did a good job of balancing both he and Isaiah, um, you know, and you can second guess anything. That's fine. I'm open to it. It's not a big deal for me. I'll take it. Um, but when you're down to your, your, your backup quarterbacks and your backup backup quarterbacks, hey, we're going to do whatever we think we can. We'll go to Ben Parker. Yeah, just on plots, how, how much reps did he get uh, during the week uh, in advance of this game? In not, practice or not very many not very many you know we put it on our older guys they just have to know uh and we've kept it simple it's a pretty simple game plan um but Ari took the majority of the reps all week we needed to to try to get him ready to play as a true freshman um and I thought Ari had a good week of practice once again not perfect but uh, I thought a good week of practice um thankfully he was here uh as an early enrollee which kind of gave him the opportunity to to know what to do before we ever started the summer Came out, had a good summer, had a really good training camp, and, and went out there and he missed a couple, but but Doug on he made a couple also. Um, they made some nice plays with his legs. Hopefully, you get a chance to see what this young man can be 
uh, once he has some more uh, some more time under his belt. Um, but then once we lost Ari, hey, you know, we know the plays that Dylan can run and we know the plays that A can run. And we went out there and just tried to play and try to find a way to score points. We'll go to Harold Gutman. Hey, Coach, um, now that kind of bowl eligibility is off the table and a couple of tough losses in a row, do you think having the big game up next will, will serve to motivate the team for next week? Yeah, uh, if you're not motivated to play the big game, then you shouldn't play. Don't care what the records are. Don't care what's going on. Um, there's a trophy on the line. And uh, our guys got to come to play next week so we can keep that trophy at home. We'll go back to Troy. Yeah, defensively, it looks like you guys played a lot more four-man fronts than I think we've seen really at any other point um, this season. And maybe some, uh, <laughs> some 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 good things and some not-so-good things I'm sure you might, uh, might like to have back. Uh, how would you sum up how things went, especially up front for the defense uh, tonight? Also, I thought we played much better than we played a week ago. Uh, we did change up our front, um, allowed our guys to be aggressive. Um, I thought we had a lot of opportunities to make plays on the defensive side. Uh, the, the missed tackles really kill us. Missed tackles. Uh, there weren't a lot of wide open lanes for those guys to run through. Um, we squeezed a lot of those holes much better than we did a week ago. Um, but we had too many opportunities, you know, just five off the top of my head, that if we make those tackles, it's either third and long or it's second and long, uh, or, or we're getting off the field, a couple on third down. We had a chance to get guys on the ground, and we didn't get them on the ground. Um, so that, that's the thing. As far as effort, as far as schematically what we did, I thought it was an improvement from a week ago. But well, like I said earlier, we're not just about improvement. We're trying to win. We'll go back to Ben. Yeah, at least from my vantage point, I could be wrong on this. But it seems like the defense, your, the defense just got your defense just got worn down by the fact that they, you know, had to keep being on the field because the offense, you know, had a couple of turnovers and stuff. Would you agree with that assessment that for the most part, D actually played pretty decent, but just got worn down by the fatigue and having to be on the field longer than expected? Uh, I don't know if I completely agree with that. Um, you know, I, I think we, what I said earlier, it, it's always a combination, right? It's a combination of of us uh, missing a couple of third down opportunities on the offensive side. You know, we had a couple of guys open and, you know, a quarterback didn't have time to get away, from, get off the ball, uh, get the ball off. And a couple of times we had guys in position and, and we didn't make the play, you know, on the defensive side. You know, we just would have helped ourselves a bunch if we didn't miss so many tackles. Um, it's not like we missed 15 tackles, but we missed four or five key ones that kept those drives alive. Um, we make those tackles like we're capable of. Uh, honestly, it's probably a, a one-score game much earlier, uh, and we had a chance to, to battle back and win. We're going to Harold. Uh, the, the late hit on Gabe Reed in the fourth quarter on the, on the third down that kind of led to the Oregon State touchdown seemed kind of uncharacteristic. Was that sort of a sign of frustration, do you think, or just like a momentary lapse? What, what do you think went into that? No, no, not at all. Uh, Gabe was just being aggressive. Um, you know, I, I talked to him right as he came off. He thought it was close. He thought the guy still had a foot in. Um, you know, it, but, but it was the right call. It was a late hit out of bounds. It wasn't close. It was, it was not debatable at all. Um, Gabe was just trying to be aggressive. It wasn't frustration or anything. He really thought the guy was still in bounds. Uh, he just made a mistake. Yeah, one with Troy. Any initial uh, prognosis on Ari and also Branson Bragg as well? No, uh, they'll both get checked out by the doctors. And um, we'll all know something probably by the end of the weekend. But, you know, it, it was really tough. Like, Ari was just settling in. It was a chance to maybe make it exciting. Um, because then I figured, you know, I've played a, in the NFL, played a lot of rookies, um, college football, played a lot of redshirt freshmen, not a lot of true freshmen. And their first game playing, much like Tanner, they take a little while, they take a little while, and once they get comfortable, then they take off. And I think Ari was just getting there, made a couple of throws, made a couple of plays with his legs. Uh, and, and I thought it was about to get interesting. Um, so sorry to see him get out there. Uh, you know, we're, we're shorthanded on, on the offensive line. Uh, Branson Bragg is special, and I think he's one of the best ones in our conference. Um, hopefully, we get a get a chance to get him back for the big game next week.